Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I've got another comparison for you. And I'm sure most of you recognize the receiver in my hands. It's the Trimble R8. So this has got to be one of the most popular surveying receivers of all time. So what we're going to be doing in today's video is taking the R8 Model 3. Remember, this is a GPS GLONASS L1, L2 receiver, and we're going to be putting it up against the Hemisphere S631, a seventh generation full constellation full signal range receiver and seeing how the two do. So we're going to be putting it up against some buildings, we're going to be doing some open field tests, and we're going to be doing some under tree tests to see what fixed times look like between these two receivers. Now, let's be real, this is a third, fourth generation receiver. It's not going to fare super well in these test conditions, but there's a lot of people who are still running these out here, and I think it's important for us to show just how far the technology has come from the R8 to the 631. So let's get right into the video here. All right, so my first shot of the day is the one I always like to start with, and that is the open field dump test. So we're gonna dump the two receivers, see what the fixed time is. We're not in too difficult of an environment. It's kind of as open as I can get around our office. There's some power lines nearby, but they're across the street. We've got the railroad behind us, but as you can see, there's no train running right now. So we should be able to get a pretty good idea of what the raw fixed times of these two receivers are. So let's see how they do on the first test of the day here. So as is the usual here, we're gonna throw this in our stand and once the receiver flips above the horizon, we're gonna start the timer. And you can see here the hemisphere fixes in just over five seconds, just under six in fact, and the trimble comes in at seven and a half seconds. So our second shot of the day is going to be up against this large forklift. We've got some trees above us and we've got some power lines bisecting both. So we've got a pretty difficult multipath environment with a lot of different surfaces that can cause reflections, can eat signals and can cause us some grief. So again, let's see how the two receivers do head to head here. So again, we're going to start that timer once the receiver is above the horizon. We're going to flip towards the fence to make this a little more difficult. And you can see again, the hemisphere fixes relatively quickly in just over seven seconds. And the Trimble, which actually kind of surprised me, did manage to get a fix in this location. Again, it's a bit tough, but we had to wait significantly longer at a minute 20. So the third spot we're going to test here is up against the front of our office. So this wall is going to take out my westerly portion of the sky, which isn't the most difficult I can get in a building shot. That would obviously be the south side as I'm in Canada. As I've said before, most of my satellites are in the southern portion of the sky. But this is always a good multipath one. We've got some glass that's going to cause some funky reflections. And this does cut out half of our sky. So let's see how the receivers do here. Okay, again, we're starting that timer once the receiver is above the horizon. And we're going to see here again that the hemisphere is able to get a fix relatively quickly, but in this one, the trimble actually was not able to fix. So again, hemisphere, just over eight and a half seconds to get a fix. The trimble, we waited quite a while here to see. The residuals were coming up, they were coming down, but I just could not get a fix. So after three minutes, we called it a day. Okay, so our final shot of the day is going to be taking place right behind me in the alley here. We've got some big tall pine trees. There's four or five of them in a row that are blocking out a good portion of our sky. We've got some power lines on the other side of the alleyway. This is just about the most difficult spot we can take the receivers right now. Obviously, as we're in Canada, it's the middle of December where I'm at, which is, I gotta say, seasonably warm right now, but I still don't have any leaves on the trees, so I can't do any tests under those today. So this is gonna be the most difficult we're going to see. So let's get into the results and see how the two receivers performed under some heavy, heavy pine trees. As I said, this is the most demanding spot of the day, so it should be the toughest on these RTK engines, but the hemisphere really surprised me here and actually got a fix in just over six seconds. And the Trimble, it shouldn't really be surprising here, could not get a fix. So we waited for two minutes, but the residuals were just not getting any better. So we called it a day, said we ain't getting a fix in this spot with the R8. All right, folks, so that is the extent of the test we're going to be running today. Obviously, if you're seeing this video when it came out, it's the middle of December, which is when I filmed this video. And yes, it may be unseasonably warm for where I'm at, and there may not be a lot of snow on the ground, but I still don't have any leaves on the trees that I can test under. So just the building and pine tree tests at this time of year. But the results we saw regardless shouldn't be very surprising. The 631 did outperform the R8, but at the end of the day, it is a seventh generation receiver which can see all of the constellations in the sky, can see all of the signals available from those satellites versus the Trimble R8, which can only do GPS GLONASS, L1, and L2. 
too. Now, that being said, if you're in an open field, you might not see a ton of difference in the fixed times and the performance of your receiver, but do keep in mind the 631 also has a tilt sensor, which will help you be a lot faster, even in those scenarios where you're not gonna be using all of those satellite signals to their full benefit. And I may as well mention while you're still here, if you wanna see how the 631 stacks up against the latest Trimble receiver, I actually have a video where we perform, put it up against the Trimble R12. And before anyone asks, I do have a test where we put the repeatability of the 631 on display. I'm gonna to link to it in the description down below and in the comments down below. But for now, that is everything in today's video. That is the 631 up against the Trimble R8. And if you wanna see different receivers, up against the 631, let me know down in the description in the comments down below. I am more than happy to test anything that people will send me. And if you have a receiver you want to send us, shoot me an email. You can find it in the description down below. And I am working on a Spectra SP80, so keep your eyes out for a head to head with some Spectra units in the 631. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.